So as I said, all vowel sounds, with the exception of oo and e, stem from it's the la, ah, okay? A is no exception. So as we sing A, we're actually going to sing ah on the bottom, and we're going to move up the scale. And guess what? Ah, or A, has the same exact vowel modifications as you move up the scale, okay? So let's do this now. La. Okay, now remember, it's the same position in the throat. I'm opening my jaw as much as I can. I've dropped my tongue to the base of the jaw. The uvula goes up, or the soft palate goes up into the back of the throat. It's very bright, okay? La. about the E, right? Here's where we start our first vowel modification. And by the way, sopranos, it's the same for you. You're just doing this up an octave above us, okay? So you're going to do exactly the same thing, and we're going to pare down the sound or close down the sound, because as we go up the scale, if you notice, a, a, u, u, as we go up the scale, there's a tendency to want to sing really heavy and loud and bigger in order to be able to hit the note, right? But we do exactly the opposite. We finesse by using these vowel modifications to make a beautiful vowel sound to close down the sound, not make it dark. You know, we're not looking to do that. But what we're doing is, or unless you're, unless you're um, uh, singing an aria and you're into opera, but um, we, what we're doing is we're actually paring down the sound so it doesn't splat and get away from us and become too big. Okay, that's why it's be called, called a release valve or relief valve. So, alive. you hear me go a little towards the ah as I go up? Alive. Alive. Okay, now I'm going to F sharp and I, I'm going to go straight to my loft vowel modification. Here we go, listen closely. Alive. Right? I went to, ah, oh, but you didn't really notice it that much, did you? Right? Now, here's why. We're going to learn about something else later on in the other um, uh, um, stages here, is we're going to learn about how we use mask, which is the concept of smiling in the face to bring back the brightness and make it easier to get into the nasal cavity and the, the, you know, the nose and so forth, to make it easier also to hit these notes and to bring back these vowel sounds that we're expecting to hear. But what do I mean by that? Let me show you exactly what I mean by that. When I go to the ah, like loft, I smile, I smile into the sound. Alive. I'm singing kind of loud, and I prefer it if you, when you're starting, if you'd sing much more gentle than I'm singing. I just happen to like to sing big, and I it's just the way I sing. But I would prefer, and again, if let's say you're an R&B singer, or let's say you're uh, a jazz person, or let's say you're more of a pop guy, and you don't necessarily want to belt and wail as much as I do, you would do these like this. Or A. gentle I'm being on that. I'm not okay, I'm not just overpowering the sound, right? Now, as you grow and as the voice grows and builds more resonance, you'll find that you can add more weight into the sound, starting out lighter, and then eventually add more weight into the sound. If you go, yeah, you know, if you want to like really dig into the sound, okay? So you can learn to do this and develop all that distortion. And, you know, if you're a rock singer like me and you just like that sound, 
you can actually start to develop weight into the sound, and I'm going to teach you step-by-step step how to do that as well. All right, let's continue.